health chiefs have said that, a, that large wine glasses in restaurants should be limited in size to curb people's drinking. Uh, this is after research found that people often pour from communal bottles, so when their glass is bigger, they pour themselves more than a standard serving. But in their minds, it still only counts as one glass. So, should we scrap the big wine glasses? Now, Carol, you like a wee tipple. No. Me again? Yeah, you again. You're the star of the show. I do. I love a, I love a drink. Yeah. You be I careful with that because of your age. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, love... <laughs> I do love a glass of wine. You love a glass I of do. wine. I mean, I do. But I'm in my 50s. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm don't clinging know. on. <laughs> I don't know what the size of the glass has got to do with it. You drink wine. I mean, I'm not looking at the size of the glass. I'm just drinking the wine <laughs> like that. I, it just doesn't make any difference. These are stupid, tiny little measures to try and tell people what to do yep. all the time. It is so annoying. Yeah. So it's not going to stop anybody from no, drinking. It isn't. If you, you might have one big glass, yeah. you might have three little glasses. It's exactly the same. But, it's... well, you say that. Did you know that wine glasses have doubled in size since the 1990s? Great! You just haven't noticed that they've got bigger. <laughs> but it's... It it's, doesn't matter. It's just about personal responsibility. I mean, you're adults. There's, I just think there's several other ways, you know, you know, since... Oh, God, people keep going, oh, my God, is Denise Welsh sober? We didn't know. But obviously the topic does come up quite a lot on this show. When I did used to drink, I loved wine from a big glass. The size of the glass didn't affect how... It certainly doesn't affect Carol. She'll drink whatever the size of the glass yeah. is. <laughs> straight from the bottle on occasion. Goldfish you know I mean? bowl. It, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. I do think some of it is obviously personal responsibility and advertising as well. Mm. You know, um, my favourite quote, the only drink you have to... The only drug you have to apologise for not taking is alcohol. And everything is about... It's, a, it, it's wine o'clock somewhere. It's a cheeky little wine. Uh, you know, a meal without wine is breakfast and all of this. All the mm. cheap stuff in the supermarket. All the things you used to say. All the things I, all the things I, and I did you, you and did. I did used to, used to say it. I try now to say it to you, and you don't take a blind bit of notice. <laughs> My favourite quote was in your column when you said, "Denise Welch doesn't drink any more, and I don't drink any less." <laughs> <laughs> such a niche thing because yes. when you order a glass of wine they legally can only give you either what is it 125 125 175 or 250 <laughs> oh. <laughs> I rest my case your honor How do I know so, that Well yeah. well hmm. How do but, I know but that? it's a, so the only thing where this comes into play is if you've ordered a bottle of wine and if yeah. you've ordered a bottle of wine Who cares you're going to drink size it anyway the glass is. Yeah. Talking, it's true. Go on, talking about being older as well, and, we're, and, and you're a couple of years younger than me, this is a, ge a genuine question. And not me being the drink police, because you know I'm not the drink police, but no. do you think you drink too much? Oh, well, it depends, doesn't it? it? I drink more than I think I'm supposed to, because they tell me I can only drink 14 units a week, which is about one big glass of wine. So, yeah, I do drink too much. I know I drink too one much. One big glass of wine. But it no, doesn't no, no, make what? you... No, I a large glass of wine has three units. Three yeah. units, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I, you know, I'm just joking. People but, yeah. often ask me about when I got to the point that I gave up, and I always sort of... this kind of an analogy, if that's the word. <clears throat> People who say, do you think I've got a drink problem? And I always say, when you wake up from a big night, you know, and you're absolutely hungover, but your memory is of the fabulous time you had mm. and you just think, oh, my God, I can't believe I said that. I just want a big fry-up, which is how you wake up after a big night. Not yeah. always remembering it, but... But, <laughs> but it's when you're always waking... Always someone when, there to yeah, remind me. <laughs> it's when you're waking up and your memory is not of the fabulous time you had, is how awful you feel, mm. how depressed, how grim, yeah. the anxiety. When every time you go out, mm. that is your lasting memory. That's when I think you have a drink problem and that's when you have to address it. Carol, yeah. you know, drinks a lot, but the, your problem with how, you affect, how it affects you mentally doesn't exist because it, you don't... It, it adds to your life, it doesn't take away from your life. Yeah, no, it absolutely does. It doesn't make me... It's sad at all. And actually, the and truth is... And you only drink is, when you go out. Yeah. I only drink when I and go out. And you don't drink as much as people think you do. No, I don't, because, because I can't. You, she you does get drunk fall down quickly every time and then go home. So. <laughs> yeah. I am a lightweight, I, I swear. I, I only need a couple of glasses of wine, I'm a bit drunk. But the fact is, I like to... 
I don't like to give up, and I, and I have to keep going. <laughs> no, you don't have to give up. <laughs> we went out <laughs> once years ago. I and, persevere. And, Ma and Mark, her husband, said to me, he wasn't her husband then, but he went to me, Den, where's Carol? And in the corner, we were at this place <laughs> with music that was like, do, do, do. And there were speakers, and McGiff was asleep on top of the speakers with a wine glass going, <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> like and he just picked her up, carried her out with a smile on his face. Lovely. Honestly. No, he does. He always looks after me if I go a bit too far. And, <laughs> and so there's that... I've got that kind of safety net. But if he wasn't around, I would have to really sort of think, well, I need to stop now. But you've not had a drink since yeah, you came you back didn't. from holiday, what, five no, days I've had, ago? I haven't had a drink for five. <laughs> no, well, that, but that's a sign that you don't have a problem, because if you did, you'd have, you'd have had quite a few drinks in between. No, then. a problem isn't always no, that you can go not, for ages without no, drinking, because I could always go for ages. It's when you become powerless over it when you do right. drink. Yeah. So not... Because I didn't used to drink every day. When it's no fun anymore. You, when, it, when it's... absolutely when it, And when it's having a detrimental effect on the people who love yes, you. Yes, right. that's when it is. But your people somehow still love you. <laughs> <laughs> and well, she doesn't wake up depressed because she just doesn't care. So, <laughs> you know, okay.